Now we're gonna assemble A10. A10 is a little bit of a different construction than most blocks. We have a applique football on the center square. So I'm gonna do that before I attach the square to anything else. The next pieces will be these little bars will attach to the square. Then I'm going to attach the, the triangles and then finally the outside section. So that's gonna be your order of assembly. Now, I've made this block already and then I lost the video. So I had to take the block apart, but now it's already basted. But I'll have to fix some of this to make it tight again. But anyway, so that's why it looks the way it does right now. So here's my center block. And then I'm gonna rebaste this so that I have a nice tight edge and get this placed on my center square. And um, I do have marks from where it was, but I'm gonna take a pencil line from one point to the other so I can line it up properly and center it where it needs to be. So I've got my football appliqued to my center square. Next thing to do is I'm going to tighten up the basting on these and then we're gonna attach these around the square. I'm gonna attach opposite sides first and that will let me center these better when I get to these other two. So they get those on. So I've attached my black bars around my center square. The next step is to attach my purple triangles. Um, I'm going to rebaste these with a gathering stitch and pull these nice and tight so I can get this curve onto this curve more accurately. And what I'll do is I'll start on one side, go to about the middle of the bar, and then I'll start on the other side and bring it together so that way the triangles meet exactly where they need to. Now I've got the triangles attached to each corner. Next thing to do is to take out the basting here on the curve section. And then I'm going to attach the outside. I'm gonna first attach opposite sides and then this. I'm gonna make sure that I line this up because these folds are not exactly, not precisely on the paper, but you can feel uh, the paper points, I should say. You can feel the actual point in here. And so then you line up this point with this bottom edge on the purple and then this point with the edge here and if it won't quite fit just force it into submission and it should it should do fine it'll give you some dimensionality but that'll all sort out when you take the papers up so remove the gathering stitch and attach the outside pieces so i've removed the gathering stitches from my curved sections here and i've attached two of the four side pieces and you can see that it's di dimensional. I don't hope that comes through at least. So this is like a big hump here. And that's because I wanted to make sure that I matched this up. Now there's a tag here that makes it a little difficult to see, but I wanted to match the point of this up with the point of this. And so then I did the same thing over here on all four points. And now I'm gonna match all this up to these so that I can finish this layer. So I've connected the other two side pieces and now my A10 block has been completed.